All right, in this video, we're going to talk about how to make a field mandatory based on the entry of another field. Uh, right now, in this form, the county field is not mandatory. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. Based on if they put a city in, then we're going to make the county uh, mandatory. So I'm going to click in the county field. I'm uh, back to uh, actual InfoPath. And I made sure that I was in InfoPath 2010. Uh, so it'll be consistent with what you have. So uh, I picked in the county field, and now up here under the home menu, I'm going to click where it says manage rules. And you see it did pick the county field for the, the rule, and I want to add a new um, rule, and this is going to be about validation. All right, so um, you, it doesn't matter what you call the rule. I'll just call it rule, rule one. I'm going to pick where it says none, now you're going to add two conditions here. The first condition is um, the field that is the one that you want to fill in to make this one mandatory. So I'll pick on city and I want to say is not blank. Then I'll come over here and pick on and. Now for the second condition, you pick the field in question, which is the county field, and you say is blank there. All right. So the first condition is the field that you want to be filled in, and this uh, and that should say is not blank. And the second condition is the actual field that you want to make mandatory um, is blank. And we'll click on OK. Now you see where it says screen tip over here. You're going to type in the word required, specifically that word uh, required. Alright, so now uh, let's go ahead, I, I, I just clicked off of the county field, but if I click back on the county field, we would see that rule again. So at this point, uh, I'm going to test it in a share in a InfoPath before I upload it. So I'll pick on Preview, and in my computer I have to reconnect to the data connection, so give me a second about that. And sorry, I have to uh, go back into my email and get my password for the SharePoint because I always forget it. And there's my ID. Copy that in. Paste it over here. And put in my password. Alright. So now let's we're still testing the form here in um, InfoPath. And notice how right now the county field does not have an asterisk, which means it, it is not uh, mandatory. But if I pick on a city, then notice how the asterisk did become up there as soon as I filled in the city. So I can see it's working there. Uh, I'm going to click on Close Preview. And at this point, we'll go back to InfoPath and we're going to publish the form back to SharePoint. So I'll pick on File and Quick Publish. And it's going to upload the form to SharePoint. Now let's go back to SharePoint and see if it's really working. So here's the, uh, the list of questions, it's actually called uh, New Names. And I'll go into Items, and I'll add a new item. And notice when you use a new item, that's when the InfoPath form comes in. For the title, uh, I'll just call this one uh, Test 2. Now notice how the, co the county field is not mandatory at this time. In fact, it'll let me uh, save the record. And you can see test two is now in the actual list. Let's add another item, and I'll do new item. Now I'll type in uh, test three. And for the city, uh, actually this is one where the the pull down works with the uh, based on the other pull down. So I'll pick on the city now. Now it's the cities from Pennsylvania. And I sent you the other video about how to do that. And now notice, as soon as I pick the city, 
the county is mandatory, and if I try to save, it does not allow that because the county is now mandatory. And now once I typed it in, it's good to go. So if you go back to InfoPath, the real key was we picked in the field that you want to make mandatory and you added um, a rule. It was a validation rule. And when we picked on the uh, condition, the first field is not blank and the second field uh, is blank. And then for the screen tip, we typed in require. And that's how you can make it so one field uh, becomes mandatory based on the input of another field.